Hi, I'm Jill Rep from June Taylor. Hexagon quilts are so popular today, but the hexagon can be a challenging shape to cut. So we developed a new tool to help you called You Hexy Thing. This ruler makes short work out of cutting perfect hexagons in nine different sizes. Let me show you how it works. The first thing we're going to do is actually cut a strip of fabric. And we use the chart either on the ruler or the same chart on the packaging insert to determine what size strip to cut to yield what size finished hexagon. And when I say finished, I mean including seam allowances. So if I want a four and a half inch finished hexagon, I need to start with an eight and three eighths inch strip, which I have cut right here. Now that I have my eight and three eighths inch strip cut, I lay the ruler over the top, find the four and a half inch finished line, and line that up on the bottom edge of my strip on the side edge of my strip and on the top edge of my strip. When I'm lined up in all three places, we're going to make two sets of cuts. So following along that four and a half inch line, you're going to insert your blade and make a cut on either side of your strip. Lift the ruler up. You can take this little piece away. Make one rotation and reline things up. So again, I'm following that large dotted line across the top, the solid down the side, and I'm also lined up on the bottom of my strip. And make a second set of cuts in that same slot opening for the four and a half inch finish size. Now when I take this fabric away, you're going to see that I have a perfect hexagon. If my seam allowances were taken into consideration here and here, this dimension would be perfect four and a half inches. Now I've cut through one layer of fabric, but you can cut through several layers, up to eight, and make several hexagons at one time. Across the top, I've shown all the different sizes of hexagons that you can cut with this one ruler. So it's extremely versatile and will be able to cut hexes for all your quilts. An easy way to do fusible applique, where your seam allowances are actually pressed under, and your interfacing is exposed, is to actually cut your fusible interfacing at the same time you cut your hexagons. They'll be exactly the same size. And then you're going to put right sides together. So the right side of your fabric will face the fusible side of the interfacing. And then you're going to stitch in a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around the edge. Flip it over and make a slit in the back of the interfacing and turn right sides out that will look like this. Make sure to expose all your points, that's how it will look from the front, and from the back you'll have your interfacing ready to go. You can then take your finished hexagon, apply it to your project, and press it in place. You can leave as is or finish with a decorative stitch like we've done here. To piece hexagons, we join them together by rows and then we sew the rows together. Now to do this, you want to start out by taking each of your hexagons and marking your seam line a quarter of an inch away from the outside edge on all sides. And then what you're going to do is take two of your hexagons and with right sides together, you're going to sew in between the intersecting lines of those two seam lines from here all the way to here. And make sure you back tack at the beginning and at the end so they're nice and secure. So that's what this looks like. You can see our stitching line right along here. And when I open that up, you'll have your first two hexagons sewn together. Continue on in that same manner until you have an entire row done, like this. The next step is you're going to sew your second row, and then we're going to piece those two rows together. Our next step is to join these two rows. And to do that, we actually want to join our seam line from the bottom edge of this hexagon to the top side edge of this hexagon. So right sides together, and this will actually turn in this direction. And we will make sure that the two hexagons are completely lined up and that this seam allowance is not getting in our way. We are going to sew from the intersecting points of our seam marking here to the intersecting points here, back tacking at each location. So that will look like this. Here is the seam that we just sewed along here, back tacking here and here, and when you open it up, 
you can see that your rows are beginning to join together. Now that we've joined the first two hexagons, we'll continue to join our rows together. So we'll take our row like this and right sides together, keeping our top hexagon free and lining up uh, the next set of hexagons so that our edges are all matching. And what we're going to do now is sew from this intersecting point of our seam allowances, back tacking, all the way to this intersection of our seam allowances, back tacking. Again, keeping all seam allowances free. So when we do that, this is what happens. Here's our, our first hexagon. This is the line that we just got done sewing right here. And again, our seam allowances were all free. So when I open it up, you can see now that we have two points that our hexagons are actually joined, right here and right here. Continue joining your row. Again, we'll now take and put right sides together as we pivot and line our hexagons up so they're lined up evenly and stitch between our seam allowances that we've drawn on from one intersecting point to the other one, pivoting at both locations. That would look like this. As we finish our row, this is what the, it looks like from the front with the two rows joined, and this is what it looks like from the back. And you'll notice we can now press our seam allowances, and you can actually rotate those as you press. And that will keep these intersecting points as flat as possible, so it looks great from the back, and it also looks great from the front. We can then continue on and add another row here or another row here until our quilt is completed. Another popular way to piece hexagons is by adding equilateral triangles. You add one to each side of the hexagon, sewing right sides together in a quarter inch seam allowance. So that looks like this, sewing on either side. When I open that up, you can see the diamond beginning to form. Let's press that open, and that looks like this. If I turn this slightly and take another diamond and turn that slightly, you can see that my rows are beginning to form that are comprised of the diamonds. Take those two diamonds, turn right sides together, and sew in your quarter inch seam line. And that will give you this, which is your two diamonds actually attached. If we added another diamond, and so we had three in our row, you would begin to see an alternative pattern that's beginning to form here. So here's our first diamond, here's our second, and here's our third. If you continue to add rows like this, you can see that this center star or I spy pattern begins to form and that's very popular today and attractive. So just think, we started out with our hexagon, we added our equilateral triangles and we've got a completely unique design now utilizing our hexagon. Whether you're piecing your hexagons to other hexagons or adding triangles or strips or if you're appliquing them, hexagons are much easier to cut with the U Hexi Bing ruler. And we look forward to you trying this and adding it to your quilter's toolbox.